Repsol is fully committed to the fight against climate change. We were the first company in our sector to set the goal of becoming net zero emissions by 2050, and we are aligning our strategy with this commitment. We see the energy transition as the natural evolution of our businesses. It will enable us to create value not only for the company, but also for society through our solutions and products, the development of industry, and the generation of quality employment. We believe that only a model that integrates a variety of technological options and combines the use of carbon neutral products with electrification will make it possible to achieve the net zero emissions target in the most efficient and rapid way and at the lowest possible cost to the citizens. In this hybrid model, the use of carbon neutral products will make it possible to decarbonize sectors that are difficult to electrify, as in the case of certain industrial uses, long distance road and maritime transport, as well as aviation. At Repsol, we want to contribute to the development of a robust and sustainable industry that can drive the economic reactivation of Spain. This is a country that is in a privileged position to transform itself into a CO2-free energy hub, thanks to its renewable natural resources and the wide availability of raw materials for the circular economy. Repsol is and will be a prominent player in the energy transition of the Spanish economy. We will contribute our strength as an innovative industrial company, our technological potential and our capacity for transformation. As an energy company, we have the capacity to supply all the products and services that the decarbonized society of the future will demand. At Repsol, we have a vast experience in engineering, construction, and safe, reliable, and efficient operation of industrial plants. We have five refineries that are among the best in Europe, integrated with one another and with other business units. For decades, we have invested in them to improve their energy efficiency and their processes. Our industrial complexes will continue to evolve to be transformed into multi-energy hubs capable of generating products with low, zero or even negative carbon footprints and promoting new business models based on digitalization and technology. To address this transformation, we are going to support our industrial strategy on four main pillars energy efficiency, the circular economy, renewable hydrogen, and capture and use of CO2. We will continue to invest in improving the efficiency of our processes with 0.4 billion euros between 2021 and 2025 to cut 0.8 million tons of CO2 annually and lay the groundwork for transforming our industrial complexes into net zero emission sites. The circular economy is another pillar of the transformation. Our industrial complexes are being adapted to used waste from cities, used plastics and residues from agriculture, forestry and industry for the production of circular chemical products and plastics, sustainable biofuels, biogas and renewable hydrogen. Our circular strategy will allow us to treat large amounts of residues, thus avoiding their disposal. In addition, being able to use our existing sites to develop our circular strategy will reduce the investments needed in comparison with other players. Our goal is to become a leader in the production of sustainable biofuels. By 2025, we want to reach 1.3 million tons a year and by 2030 to surpass 2 million. To achieve this, we already have various projects underway at our refineries and a current capacity to produce 700,000 tons of biofuels annually. At our refinery in Cartagena, we have already begun work on the advanced biofuel plant that will be the first of its kind in Spain. It will annually produce 250,000 tons of hydro-biodiesel, biojet, bionafta, and biopropane, and avoid the emissions of 900,000 tons of CO2 every year. The plant will start operating in 2023 and it will use recycled raw materials to produce advanced biofuels that can be used in airplanes, trucks and cars.
we are going to build a plant for the generation of biogas from urban waste from the city of Bilbao. The biogas will be used to substitute part of the natural gas used at our Petronor refinery today and to produce renewable hydrogen. In the first phase, this pyrolysis plant will be able to process 10,000 tons of urban waste a year. In later phases, its capacity can be increased to 100,000, an amount which is equivalent to all the urban waste produced in the surrounding area. The refineries of the future will use renewable electricity for internal consumption as well as to generate renewable hydrogen. At Repsol, we will produce this hydrogen by means of new technologies such as electrolysis of water using renewable energy, photoelectrocatalysis using direct sunlight, and through the efficient and competitive use of biomethane, bionaphtha, or other renewable raw materials in our existing complexes. At Repsol, we have clear advantages in the production of renewable hydrogen. Spain is a great location in the European Union for developing this business due to the large availability of renewable resources leading to lower production costs. Additionally, as Spain's largest hydrogen producer and consumer, we find ourselves in a unique position to lead the development of the sector because we are present in the entire energy value chain. We want to reach a renewable hydrogen production equivalent to 400 megawatts by 2025, with the ambition to become the leader in the Spanish market by 2030 with a production equivalent to 1.2 gigawatts. One of the applications of renewable hydrogen will be its use as a raw material for the production of synthetic fuels and advanced biofuels, which can be readily used in today's cars. The primary advantage of these fuels is that they are carbon neutral because the CO2 that is liberated into the atmosphere when they are used was previously captured either from an emitting point or from the atmosphere. These fuels will be crucial for the decarbonization of sectors that today are difficult to electrify, such as heavy road, aviation, or marine transport. At Repsol, we find ourselves in a privileged position to produce these fuels in the future thanks to our strong position as a producer of renewable hydrogen and the use of CO2 captured at our own complexes. In 2024, the plant that we are going to build in the Port of Bilbao will be up and running. This plant will use renewable hydrogen and CO2 already captured at the nearby Petronor refinery as raw materials. It will be one of the largest of its kind in the world. In the future, all our refineries will be equipped with CO2 capture systems and potentially with systems to remove some of the CO2 already present in the atmosphere, allowing us to achieve carbon-negative processes and products. The European Union and the International Energy Agency both assert that CO2 capture, storage and utilization as well as natural climate solutions will be necessary to reach net zero emissions. At Repsol, we are already taking steps down this road with innovative industrial products that use CO2 as a raw material and our participation in the Sylvestris Reforestation Company. All these projects will allow us to create the sites of the future based on the use of new renewable raw materials, the application of innovative technologies and the production of carbon neutral products. And, most importantly, it will enable us to become a net zero company by 2050. We have a great and qualified team that has demonstrated its capacity to manage large projects in a safe, efficient and competitive manner. Thanks to them, to technology and to digitalization, we will be able to transform our industrial complexes over the coming decades to turn them into multi-energy and multi-product energy hubs that are self-sufficient and based on the circular economy. We are convinced that this transformation will help us reach our goal of achieving net zero emissions by 2050 and become a company that can satisfy the energy needs of our society that is free from emissions and is sustainable.